Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and from here on I am going to start a new series basically where I'll be sharing my you know learnings and knowledge related to the cloud. So if you're new to DevOps like me, please do note that you know uh, knowledge of the cloud plays a major role in this particular domain. So you know among all those pool of technologies that we have. So you know having a basic understanding of all the major cloud concepts and you know having an having a good knowledge of at least one cloud provider amongst all the providers that we have like aws gcp and azure is really essential for you to excel in this particular field so yeah recently i started learning about these particular concepts and i thought to share my learnings with you all in in a series right uh, as i mentioned previously you know having a knowledge of at least one cloud provider is really necessary so that would be aws for me that is amazon web services and I will be sharing my learnings with you all related to AWS and all the general cloud concepts that we have. Yeah, that's pretty much about the main idea for this series. On the side, I am also preparing for a particular certification exam, which is called as AWS Cloud Practitioner, which will be looking a little bit late in this particular video only. Now, there might arise a question in your mind like, okay, Kunal, you know, this is great. You are sharing your learnings with us all and, you know, we can all learn and grow together. But why this exam? Why are you targeting this particular exam only? Actually, there are two to three reasons behind this. So number one being, you know, at the start, I was just picking stuff at random, picking up, you know, technologies at random because I got a little bit confused in all those pool of technologies that we have in the DevOps space. And, you know, I definitely feel that a person who's just starting out, they can feel me right now. I am a newbie as well. So yeah, I got basically confused in all those technologies and I actually needed to start somewhere. I actually needed a definite path to follow for, you know, learning at least one stuff definitely in an accurate manner. So I got to know about this, you know, particular certification from Brad McCoy, again, an amazing community member. I'll link his socials in the description box down below. So, you know, you can check out his profile and give him a follow. So yeah, you know, I got to know about this. I researched a bit. I looked at the curriculum and found it to be, you know, really beginner friendly and thought to myself, you know, that this can be a good starting point for me because I needed to start somewhere, right? I cannot be just picking up any technology and learning that particular thing each day. So yeah, this actually gave me a good starting point to uh, like start somewhere. Another reason being is, you know, I feel that this will actually give me a little bit more credibility in this space. Again, a certification cannot do wonders, but I do feel that, you know, having a proof of concept that you have a knowledge of a particular thing. I think, you know, this plays a major role in excelling in your particular career and like talking about this particular field right here. Uh, this is, I think, one of the most important reasons. And lastly being, you know, I have taken this exam as a target in my mind to keep me motivated and uh, actually keep me consistent in my learnings. Yeah. So these were, you know, some of the reasons that I have in at the back of my mind, like why I really want to uh, target this exam and prepare for it on the side. Okay. A big, big disclaimer here. This is, you know, not those type of boot camps or any tutorials, you know, wherein I just come and say, okay, you know, just follow my series and you will ace your examination. Yay. <laughs> this is actually not those particular type of series, but, you know, me just sharing whatever I am learning from amazing online resources, which are out there for free. You know, you can also learn from those. I just come here, you know, and sharing my learnings with you all in my own way. So, you know, consider this as an overview, basically, but, you know, I will be following a definite path. So, you know, if you are really interested in getting started with the cloud concepts and learning about AWS, which is what we'll be learning about in this series. So if you are, you know, interested in learning with me, you know, hop in and, you know, I will be also sharing resources of each topic that I'll be covering, uh, like an, like an overview. So, you know, you can definitely check out those resources, but yeah, you know, you just hop in and, you know, we can all learn and grow together because why not? This is a free space and learning together makes it a lot more fun. I feel that. Yeah, that's, you know, pretty much the main idea of this whole series. I hope, you know, you understood the main idea of that. All right. So, you know, let's jump right into the computer screen, you know, where I'll be showing you like an overview of this particular certification and how can you basically access some of the free resources and the exam guide that AWS already provides. So, you know, you'll have a little bit more understanding of the path that we'll be following. So yeah, let's quickly jump right into it. So, you know, let's just quickly see like how many certifications does AWS actually provide us. 
right so how many options we have so you know if we just look into here the first one is the foundational category in which we have this aws cloud practitioner one which actually we are targeting right now you know starting from the basics there are other categories like this is the associate one where we have solutions architect sysops administrator developer these are actually you know some of the roles that you can opt for in the cloud space that we have so you know solutions architect devops engineer is also there and then you know we have like special certifications so if you want to you know specialize in a particular field so for example data analytics databases security machine learning advanced networking so these are all the advanced concepts but our main focus right now is the cloud practitioner one right here so let's quickly see like what does it look like so this is the uh, website for our certification which is the certified cloud practitioner so you know what i feel is that uh, this exam is of a foundation level because of the very first reason is that it only needs you to have basic aws knowledge for anyone who has just basic knowledge of the aws platform familiarized with how to use actually the aws cloud platform and the services basically so you know it is written here the core aws services its use cases the billing and pricing models which we'll look at a little bit later because everything in detail has been given in the exam guide the security concepts and how actually the cloud impacts you know anyone's business any organization's business etc because aws is being used by so many organizations around the world globally right if we look at the pattern it has total 65 questions which it, which is either mcqs or either multiple choice you know it comes with a cost it's of 100 us dollars that's why you know it's up to you all if you know you want to opt for taking the certification exam the concepts that are you know in the in the curriculum are really important in the sense that if you want to get involved in the community so you can definitely just go through the concepts because those will you know be very much in practical use case when you are you know starting out in the space yeah and you know one of the most important sections of you know this particular site is this section in this particular section aws has basically provided a lot of free resources for you all to you know just go over through them they can help you get started quickly so this is the exam guide they have the sample question papers as well they have a practice set as well which contains a lot of sample questions papers uh, which you can practice while you know just going through your syllabus then they also have special training special webinars by aws experts and we always you know uh, have the technical documentation which we'll also be referring to while you know going through the different topics because that's given to us for free by aws right so why don't we use it one of the most important of this is the exam guide which which i'll just show you in a bit this is basically the exam guide that aws provides us it has each and every information for you to just go over through and get to know the exam in a real better way so you know basically uh, everything is given in this particular thing like the curriculum the paper pattern the syllabus that we are going to you know study in this particular thing these are the main domains that are like you can say these are like the subheadings and you know each heading has different topics that are included in that first topic is like the cloud concepts then we have security compliance technology billing and pricing so the cloud concepts are you know there are generalized cloud concepts as well which are really important to understand and they have certain cloud concepts that are actually concentrated more on aws because this is certification is for someone who is you know familiar with aws cloud ecosystem then we have security and compliance the most important section of all is the technology part which consists of 33 percent not because of the weightage but because of the subtopics that they have so these are basically the subtopics these consist of the major aws services that you know amazon web services offer these are really important in perspective to the exams as well as to increase your knowledge Knowledge because having a knowledge of these services and you know having a knowledge on how to use these particular services is really important so we'll be going over through each of the services so right now according to me i think there are like 300 plus total services that aws offers but we'll only be studying a few of them here because if we study all of them then this won't be a foundational one exam right so these are i think some of the services i am not sure if all of these would come but some of these would definitely come in this examination so yeah these are the services that you know we'll be studying i i guess some of them but yeah that's you know pretty much about it uh, related to the exam guide you can just go over through them there are 
all the topics that are given in detail like the subtopics and all a disclaimer again here don't confuse yourself with these name of the services if you are hearing this for the first time i mean this is the first time for me as well you know we'll be going going over through some of the important services together we are in this together just remember one thing and share your good work that you are doing there is always you know the community people for helping in case we you know face any difficulties i will try basically to get some guest speakers as well in this particular series i know a couple of amazing people from the community who can you know guide us basically so i think that would be a great opportunity for you all as well yeah all in all this is basically you know like an overview of the examination you can go over to the website and don't worry at all uh, i will be providing important links to you all in the description box down below so you can definitely check those out if you are interested in you know getting started with me that's pretty much about it for like the overview of the exam lastly you know and i feel this is one of the most important points is that learn in public so you know share the good work that you are doing in the community if you are you know starting your own journey with me then you can definitely share that with everyone on linkedin on twitter you, know, you can always tag me we can basically you know do some sort of hashtag like aws with kunal v like kunal v as in kunal verma there is always you know 100 days of cloud but at the end of the day it's you know all about learning and giving back to the community whatever you are learning right to support this initiative you can take a screenshot of this session and yeah just spread the word across the community so that you know other people you know start their own journey basically at the end of the day the idea is you know to learn and grow together and let other community members also grow with you that's pretty much about it from me today and i am really excited for this particular series i will also be posting videos related to devops and open source related stuff you know as i keep on learning in the coming days thank you so much everyone for joining in today and i'm really excited for starting this journey with you all see you in the next one bye